Hi, this is Mark Seaton at Expona 2015. We're here after hours giving you guys a look at the room we've set up for everyone to come see this year. Inside we have a very powerful system filling a much larger room this year. So let's go take a look inside. With the much longer room, we're able to keep people from having to watch the standing at the back wall of the room, which never sounds good. And this year we have an entryway with a few products on display. We have our Vintage Cherry F2 Plus, the brand new Spark loudspeaker, and of course the same one upright, everyone's favorite, the magnetic grills that simply snap right in place. Classic Submersive HP Plus, you can see the amplifier up at eye level and everybody can get a nice close-up look at this submersive driver. Stepping around the curtain for the big show, we have a full 7.4 system, I guess we can call it. What we have here is the full surround sound system of our Catalyst 12C loudspeakers on this optional stands, one behind the screen. We have our four surround speakers using the brand new Spark loudspeaker. As you can see from the speaker wires running at the back, rather than the power in the back of the speaker, we now have it located over in our rack, which you can see across the room. With these speakers, we also are showing the mounting of this with the U-bracket, this one being a universal bracket that's meant to hold much larger speakers and allow us to give a demonstration for the show. The production units will be very tight to the speaker and allow you to keep these six to eight inches from the wall even while angling a bit. Looking up front, with such a large room, this large room is actually 60 long, 32 wide, and 13 feet tall. To fill that with powerful bass, and of course we want to step it up from last year where we only had a 28 foot square room. This year we brought eight submersives and we start that with the F2s in the front corners. We have a double stack of F2s, one on top, one on bottom. This is the dual sealed 15 inch, 2000 watts per unit. In this case, these are both slave units where we also find another pair as we walk behind our screen here. We have the other pair in this corner, and we work our way around to where we have those powered in our rack with the SS2-8000 amplifier that has two channels of 4,000 watts. And then we have two more locations of submersives. We have the pair of black oak HP Plus and Slave stacked in the right rear corner. And then the left rear corner, we have a pair of HP Plus and Slaves in rosenut finish to show off that option. You can see we kept it somewhat simple with the playback option this year, just using a standby of a trusty 5508 processor to handle the 7.1 decoding. Our Betis audio computer serving up the video and music for us. We do have an OPPO for playing a few SACDs and related things. And then for EQ, we're not applying any EQ to the speakers, just to the subwoofers. The QSC DSP-30 allowed me to put a little delay on the rear two submersives, as well as a bit of simple parametric EQ to smooth out the response a little bit, which was actually quite good even without any EQ. With EQ and dialed in for the room, we're extending flat down to 10 hertz in room, even in this large cavernous room. And with four submersives, we've had no trouble getting quite the air movement and even a little floor shake on this concrete floor in the room. To bring the picture up to scale with this larger room and the sound system, Ken Whitcomb helped us out. Ken is a uh, has his company Calibrations Inc. Many of you have seen his work on Art Sonneburn's system, originally with his dual stack, then later with uh, his three chip DLP. We have a screen from Seymour AV. It's a 115 inch wide 
132 inch diagonal screen in using the lighter 4K material. Acoustically transparent so that we can have the catalyst up right behind it. Can them help secure for us the Sony VW1100ES projector. This is the premium optics high output 4K projector. Retails for $28,000. We're very appreciative to have that, especially when we want to keep some lights on speakers and make it so everyone uh, doesn't trip over themselves during the demo. We can still have a nice bright picture on the screen and everything looks great. Those coming by the room have been quite impressed as our whole system here, we have 16,000 watts between all eight submersives, and then we have another 8,000 watts between the front three catalysts and the four surrounds for a 24,000 watt system. Including all of that power, the whole system, speaker system, co comes to a total of just over $35,000, less than some of the companies here are charging for one speaker, let alone two. And many have come in expecting the big wow factor of a home theater, shocked at the clarity and how good tracks like Adele and the Eagles and some other musical tracks sound. And then wowed, of course, when we played Interstellar, the worm, the entering the wormhole scene, along with a bunch of other high octane scenes, everybody's favorite art of flight, and then even some two channel music. The two-channel music surprises plenty as they are very happy with the results. In this large space, it's easy to show that the Catalyst can do a big two-channel soundstage well outside the speakers, giving that big, impressive sound. And we're doing so with the two Catalysts crossed at 70 hertz to all four submersives. And reliably, everyone's surprised to hear uh, what that can actually sound like in just a two-channel setting. So overall, we've had really positive comments. It's been really nice to see many of those who uh, we know by handle only on the forums. And hopefully I'll see a few more people tomorrow. Those of you who didn't make it, hopefully you enjoy getting a peek behind the scenes. And we'll see you on the forum.